Want to study in Germany? Then Excel is the best option. Admissions with scholarships available. Call 9881-96666. Nephrotic syndrome is the same thing. It's 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 the same thing. Children's Nephrology Specialist. Dr. Vijay Lakshmi Gar Manta Unnaru. Vijay Lakshmi Gar Namaste. Nephrotic syndrome is the same thing. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. नेफ्रोटिक सिंड्रोम इज ए डिजीज रिलेटेड टू किडनी यू नो इट इज मोस्टली द डिजीज कम कम इट हैपन इन पेडेट्रिक एज ग्रुप यू नो किडनी इज द फिल्ट्रेशन ऑर्गन इन आवर बॉडी इट फिल्ट्रेट ब्लड एंड रिटर्न बैक ऑल द एसेंशियल एलिमेंट टू द बॉडी लाइक प्रोटीन सुगर कैल्शियम फॉस्फोरस मैग्नेशियम एंड अदर एसेंशियल सॉल्ट and uh, remove removes of uh, waste product from uh, blood like urea and creatinine uh, uh, so uh, this is a condition uh, yeah, something uh, happen wrong in that filtration barrier that causes heavy loss of protein from kidney so that uh, due to this condition the child develop a generalized swelling so uh, because of the protein loss there is severe swelling in the body usually it starts from around the eye and gradually progress to leg and belly and it become generalized so you call the term it generalized progressive swelling it most commonly happen in the age group of 2 to 8 year age in overall world population the common incidence is usually Uh, two to four per one lakh population, but in our Indian population, the incidence is little more. Means occurrence is little more. It occur around nine to ten children per one lakh population. The uh, reason is unknown why it happen more in Indian population, but it is seen that we have more uh, occurrence the disease in children uh, as in general population. ओके विजय लक्ष्मी गार नेफ्रोटिक सिंड्रोम वे मुझे लेदा वर्वात ये लक्षण कमटम्स दर्ज ए हेबी लास् आफ प्रोटी फ्रम कि सो दर्ज लो प्रोटीन लेवन इन दर् ब्लड इन बॉडी सो यूजली सिमटम इज जेनराल स्वेलिंग स्वेलिंग यूजली एज ई टोल बिफोर स्वेलिंग यूजली स्टार्ट फ्रम द अराउंड द आई यूजली मोर प्रोमेट इन द आर्ली मर्निंग देन इट ग्राजुअली प्रोग्रेस टू लेग एंड एबडोम एंड प्रोग्रेस टू जेनराल होल बडी इट समटाइम्स इट एसोसिएटेड विथ सम कम्प्लिकेसन लाइक इनफेक्शन सो चाइल्ड में प्रेजेंट विथ हाई ग्रेड फीवर विथ लूज मोशन भोमिटिंग बेली एक एंड समटाइम्स डिक्रीज एलर्टनेस लाइक चाइल्ड में डेवलप ए फिट्स विथ जनरल स्वेलिंग विथ ऑल दैट कॉम्प्लिकेशन चाइल्ड कैन में ऑल्सो प्रेजेंट एंड सम चिल्ड्रेन हैव डिक्रीज यूरिनेसन मीन्स दि फ्लूड फ्रॉम दैट ब्लड वेसेल ड्यू टू लो प्रोटीन इन द ब्लड लेवल ड्यू टू लॉस इन द किडनी इट लिक्ड फ्रॉम ब्लड वेसेल टू दैट अदर बॉडी टिश्यू सो द फ्लूड लेवल इन दैट ब्लड वेसेल इज डिक्रीज सो फॉर हुईज दैट चाइल्ड डेवलप डिक्रीज यूरिनेसन विजयलक्ष्मी गार नेफ्रोटिक सिंड्रोम व्याधि ने असल एला गुर्त नेफ्रोटिक सिंड्रोम फास्ट एनी चाइल्ड हुईज डेवलप जेनराल स्वेलिंग यू वी डायग्नोज विथ प्रोटीन लॉस इन द यूरीन सो फास्ट वी हैव टू डू ए यूरीन प्रोटीन टेस्ट दैट वी कैन डू इन ए डिपस्टिक टेस्ट डिपस्टिक मीन्स देर इज ए स्ट्रिप इट इज कोटेड विथ रिएजेंट सो वेन यू डीप द स्ट्रिप इन द यूरीन दर इज ए मल्टीपुल कलर दिस कलर कॉड वेज एस एंड डू सम प्लस मीन सम प्रोग्रेसिव प्लस वन प्लस टू प्लस थ्री एंड प्लस फोर यूजली इन नेफ्रोटिक सिंड्रोम दि प्रोटीनस इज भेरी हेबी हेबी प्रोटीन मसी प्रोटीन नर यू यू कॉल्ड इट सो दि प्रोटीन लॉस इज मोर देन थ्री प्लस दट वी कैन इंटरप्रिट फ्रॉम द कलर कॉड ऑफ द स्ट्रिप 
after that we can do a blood test blood test usually protein level is low so usually in children protein level is 3.5 to 4.5 gram per deciliter but here due to heavy loss of protein in urine the protein level decrease below 3 gram per deciliter then uh, next is uh, uh, due to protein loss there is compensatory increase in cholesterol in the body so child have a high cholesterol level in the blood so you, you can diagnose it in three this three condition like uh, any child with swelling heavy loss of protein in urine like three plus protein along with low protein in the blood that is less than three gram per deciliter then we can diagnose a nephrotic syndrome then if uh, a other additional test we can do to rule out the complications like if child having a uh, uh, problem in breathing so we have to do a x-ray to check if there is any pneumonia if child have any seizure we have to do other blood test like serum sodium potassium to check if there is any dyselectrolytemia then uh, if child is decreased urination we have to do a blood uh, blood serum urea and creatinine to see if there is a kidney failure some child also they uh, present with kidney failure because of that infection because of severe dehydration because of the fluid loss from the body due to uh, loose motion due to vomiting so uh, according to the symptoms child uh, present we have to do the additional test nephrotic syndrome ki bharat desham lo etwanti treatment undi uh, treatment of nephrotic syndrome mainly we treat nephrotic syndrome with steroid uh, that is oral prednisolone mostly uh, if the 90% of child respond to very well with this treatment they cure with this treatment usually in the first episode when the child uh, present to us first time with generalized body swelling and we diagnose nephrotic syndrome uh, around uh, 90% of child uh, uh, responded to uh, the steroid and uh, 10% of child that does not respond to steroid so usually steroid course is we give six week of very high dose of steroid that is daily steroid therapy followed by that is we call 60 mg per meter square of body surface area followed by uh, low dose of steroid that is 40 mg per body sur- uh, per uh, body surface area for another 6 week usually in the first episode they develop remission remission means child develop uh, that is child cure protein become nil in urine nil or stress or urine protein creatinine ratio become less than 2 less than sorry less than 0.2 so it happened within 14 days of treatment some child said they uh, respond after 4 week of treatment so that child we call late responder and few like 5 to 10 percent child they don't respond to steroid treatment this child we call as steroid resistant nephrotic syndrome so for steroid resistant nephrotic syndrome again treatment protocol is different but before starting treatment we have to do a renal biopsy renal biopsy means we have to take a small piece of kidney tissue from the kidney that is uh, uh, called biopsy gone uh, so that tissue usually we study under the microscope and we uh, specify the what is the type of histological nature of the disease accordingly we start treatment the second line to, uh, therapies are like tacrolimus and cyclophos uh, sorry cyclosporin for the steroid resistant nephrotic syndrome again who are responded to steroid some child uh, around 15 to 20 percent child they don't re- uh, have, have relapsed or don't reoccur the disease those are lucky children but another 30 percent 30 to 40 percent of children they develop uh, repeated swelling that is called relapse uh, around uh, three uh, less than four times a year so their child also we treat with uh, steroid because they prednisolone because they responded well to treatment so around another 30 to 40 percent of children they develop relapse that is reoccurrence of swelling uh, more than four times four times or more than four times a year usually uh, they uh, for this 
children we prefer a second line treatment so the second line drugs are like uh, levamisole cyclophosphamide um, mycophenolate mofetil and rituximab so again we have to uh, we know there is several side effect of steroid and second line uh, drugs also so uh, common side effects of steroids are like child will have high appetite they will be very hungry so they will eat very well they develop uh, weight gain and they may develop a high bp that's called hypertension so we have to uh, 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 take care of this side effect also so some child even if they are infrequent relapse like less than three no, four times in a year they have developed relapse but if they have side effect of steroid then also we have to treat them with a second line drug and we have to consider the side effect of second line drug also so we have to monitor them very frequently when the child child is having a second line drug or we treat the child with a second line drug vijayalakshmi garu నెఫ్రోటిక్ సిండ్రోమ్తో బాధపడే పిల్లల్ని ఏ పరిస్థితుల్లో హాస్పిటల్లో అడ్మిట్ చేయాల్సిన పరిస్థితి ఉంటుంది దేర్ సమ్ డేంజర్ సైన్ దట్ ఈజ్ దే నీడ్ అర్జెంట్ హాస్పిటలైజేషన్ లైక్ హై గ్రేడ్ ఫీవర్ లూజ్ మోషన్ వామిటింగ్ ఎనీ చైల్డ్ డిక్రీజ్ అలర్ట్నెస్ చైల్డ్ ఈజ్ లుకింగ్ సిక్ దేర్ అండ్ చైల్డ్ హ్యాబింగ్ ఏ స్టమక్ పెయిన్ దట్ బెల్లీ ఎక్ సో దే దోజ్ గ్రూప్ ఆఫ్ చైల్డ్ డెఫినెట్లీ హ్యావ్ ఎ సివియర్ ఇన్ఫెక్షన్ ఆర్ సమ్ అదర్ రిలేటెడ్ ప్రాబ్లమ్ లైక్ క్లోటింగ్ ఇన్ సైడ్ ద బ్లడ్ దే నీడ్ అర్జెంట్ హాస్పిటలైజేషన్ దట్ కుడ్ నాట్ బి మేనేజ్ ఎట్ హోమ్ ఓకే విజయలక్ష్మి గారు నిఫ్రోటిక్ సిండ్రోమ్తో బాధపడేవారు ఇటువంటి జాగ్రత్తలు తీసుకోవాలి వాళ్ళ పేరెంట్స్కి మీరు ఇచ్చే సలహాలు ఏంటి సో ఎనీ చైల్డ్ వి డయాగ్నోజ్ విత్ నెఫ్రోటిక్ సిండ్రోమ్ వి హ్యావ్ టు ట్రైన్ parents how to pick this danger sign so they could take their child immediately to hospital and there are several condition their child child may uh, have a protein urea or protein leaking in urine like any fever any small cough and cold infection minor infection so on uh, those condition uh, and child is having not any danger sign what i told before so parents can monitor the child in home by doing a simple urine test that is deep stick test parent usually trained uh, what is the color code given it is 1 plus 2 plus or 3 plus if it is less than 3 plus and child is not having any danger sign so parents can treat their child at home uh, with a small dose of steroid according to the body weight of the child what is advised by the treating physician but if child having any serious complication like fever lose motion decrease alertness or any blood in urine dead urine also that is also a danger sign or child having diphtic test protein showing more than 3 plus those child immediately should be taken to a doctor to uh, give a proper treatment okay vijay lakshmi thank you